Welcome to this Wii video screencast. You've been creating a podcast and I'm going to show you how to export your finished video. So, been building this podcast. The final step is kicking this out as a video file. So I've got everything done. I've gone through and I probably hopefully watched this to make sure it's correct the way that I want it. And now I'm going to kick it out as a finished video project. To do that, you go up here to the finish choice. And when you click on finish, you have to name the finished video. This is going to be the file name, so check with your teacher on what they want you to name that as. Typically teachers want something that maybe has your class hour or your last name in it. So it might be something like your last name and then whatever the, the subject of the video is. So this was a, we'll say this was Huber interview. You can choose the quality here. Um, I think for the purposes of class, it probably doesn't matter which one you choose. This is higher quality. If it's going to be something that you're showcasing to a larger audience uh, or putting out there on the web, I would say probably choose the 720. If it's just something that's just a quick video, somebody just has to watch it once, you can choose 480. Let's say I'll choose 720. This is super important. With your Wii video account, you want to make sure that this file gets saved to your Google Drive. So just because the symbol's here doesn't mean that that's going to automatically happen. You have to click on this so that it lights up blue. So this is giving, this is saying that the finished video is going to save to your Google Drive. And go ahead and click finish. Now what's going to happen is this. You're going to see, this was a test I did earlier, uh, but you're going to see that this is waiting to be processed. It says here that the video is in line to be processed. You don't need to keep this window open. They'll send you an email with the notification in your home screen when it's ready. So you can close this window at this point. What's going to happen at the end is, if you did leave this open, it would say done. Uh, it'll give you a link to where the video is hosted on Wii Video. So you have this as a link to the video being done on Wii Video's website, as well as it's going to put a copy of it in your Google Drive folder. For most class assignments, you're probably going to turn in that Google Drive video to your teacher. Um, so I want to show you how to do that now. But just know, too, that this link also works. You could copy paste this link and give it to others to watch your video when it is finished. But let me show you how to get this from Google Drive. If you go to, over to your Google Drive, the first time you connect using Wii Video with your Google Drive, there will be a Wii Video folder that gets made. If you have a ton of folders and it's hard to see that, you can change the way you look at your Google Drive up here, either grid view or list view. So maybe alphabetically, if you click on name, you could find the Wii Video folder a little bit easier. You can kind of hunt and choose for that. Or if you just did this, you can go to the recent area. If I go to recent, this is going to show me here's that video that just got kicked out. So it's just sitting there in my Google Drive. I can open it and watch it and play it. Um, if it is still processing, you may not see it. I just did this, so that's why that's not done yet. Some teachers probably might have you turn this into them through something like Google Classroom. So let me just show what that looks like. If you go to Google Classroom and you go to your teacher's class, Here's an example of a class assignment. You can open that class assignment. And what's nice is all Google Classroom assignments have this add or create button here. If you have something in your Google Drive that you want to turn in, you can click on add, choose Google Drive. This lets you pick now from your Google Drive. And again, you can choose recent. If you did this fairly recently, I can pick this video, hit add, and that is going to attach itself and I can hit turn in and that's how I can turn it in to my teacher. So if your teacher is asking to collect your videos using Google Classroom, that's a very simple way to do that and then the teacher will have your video turned in. So that is how you can finish the video, kick it out to Google Drive and then do something with it for turning it into your teacher. Thanks so much for watching.